out the Camarillo Airport, the Air Museum, and see if we find any uh, radioactive aircraft gauges, which I am told there are plenty of here. I'll be with you in just a moment. So we have a, a, an extensive collection of models, ones from World War II. But you pick a great day because the B-29 is still out there. Oh, nice. It was supposed to leave Monday. Oh, and it did. Had engine trouble. Okay. Came back. It's been wow. here ever since. They've been wow. working on okay. yeah. the engine. Good for you. <laughs> Bad for Chino. It was supposed to be yeah. in Chino this weekend. Okay, wow. okay. People had paid for rides and they're all canceled because oh. the plane is still here. A little noisy around here. I guess there's a B-29 still on the tarmac that we might be able to see later. Hopefully. The B-29 is a significant aircraft in history because it was the first aircraft to drop an atomic bomb on the city of Hiroshima in Japan. The original B-29 that did the first mission now sits in the National Air and Space Museum in Virginia. Supposed to fly out, and then I guess it got stuck here. Oh. They have, uh, right. Is there problems. anything in there? Sounds it's like it, huh? That's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm gonna go to Harbor Surfing. No, yeah. <laughs> Harbor Freight ain't gonna yeah. happen. Yeah. Because I remember. Uh, yeah, right one, there. I don't know if it was this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably just the source like inside of there. Probably for illumination. Right. And actually, it's probably these switches. So these switches probably have like a little bit of radium on them. And it's just to make them glow. So this is a board of Hollywood actors and celebrities. At first I looked at that and thought, okay, well, these are all people that served in the military. Not true. These are people who were in movies about the military and World War II. Pretty big distinction there. Technology being a radio and a telephone, a telephone with no dial. And usually, they actually have radioactive gauges in here too. If you could reach them, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hear it. Sounds like it's going up a little bit. Let's say what? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Going up. There you go. Yeah. It's like 1.8 microsieverts or whatever. And it's set up on microsieverts. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like you can totally... Yeah. Russian MiG shot down over Vietnam. Radioactive in the Russian MiG, apparently. There's nothing that I could find. Want to smell something really good? Right here, just. <laughs> ah! Uh, smells like. Smells like axle grease. Gauges. Hey, I'm taking. Yeah. 
Yeah. I just run it to danger. Oh yeah, it, it's all danger. It's all danger. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, yeah at least yeah. Like they all have glass on them. Yeah. They're just the faces, I think. I'm sure there's some of them in here that are. Oh, I bet, yeah. Oh, bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I bet if you can get in there, you can do it, but no dice. He's got a pedal for each foot and left hand here. Yep, for the for left so here. Wow, yeah, it's such two a hands, good. two feet to fly this thing. Oh yeah. There you go. What does it say? Train. Oh, oh yeah, turn bank's already. Yeah, it's like trying to get in here. It's like, oh. <laughs> Whew, it's snug. Like seat, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Wow. Yeah, they're like giving like 56,000. Yeah. Yeah, this other turn bank isn't hot. Yeah, just this guy. Looks like it uh, kind of toast your nuts here. The, the good thing is that the uh, turn bank indicator hey. is like crotch level. So it's like, yeah, I know. It's yeah. like that's what I was just saying. I'm like, yeah. oh, I could toast your nuts too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not having yeah. Yeah. for a little while. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. Pretty cool B-29.
So that's gonna do it for the World War II Aviation Museum in Camarillo, California. If you're in the area, you should come check it out. It's pretty cool, especially if you have a Geiger counter. It's a lot of fun, uh, lots of radioactive gauges. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take it easy.